I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the second edition of the weekly investment news show. Where you win because we use algorithms, not humans, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We're the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV who might have a hidden agenda when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Which company can you find out there that has a record as Retail consistently right bad now, as this one? Line. If our markets are down 25% and gold is up 50%, it, it wouldn't be a total shock. Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by interest rate risk, and then we'll wrap up with the health of the equity markets. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. First let's talk about the current 50 stock portfolio selected by natural selection algorithms with a bias toward growth stocks. As you can see there are currently 50 stocks in the portfolio with 84% winners and 16% losers. The average winning return is 43% with the best stock NVIDIA, returning 555% since it came into the portfolio about 2 years ago. The average loss is 6% with the worst stock Deutsche Bank losing 11% since it was purchased about 6 months ago. By the way, Vertex Pharmaceuticals was added as a buy in the previous edition of our show last week and rose 21% on Wednesday, two days after we recommended it. Had to get that in there, because even robots get excited about a success like that one. Here are the recent buys and sells. The natural selection algorithm sold Broadgum, Darden Restaurants, and Sprint and bought Albemary, Wynn Resorts, Prudential Financial, and Charter Communications. So now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk shows interest rates transitioned to lower risk this past Thursday. Your government treasury investments should be fine for the near term. And now for a read of the equity markets. In general the equity markets continue to show relatively low risk. Both the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 are measuring at very low risk, while both the Nasdaq 100 and Russell 2000 are showing moderate risk. The metrics for both the Nasdaq 100 and Russell 2000 have been steady since our broadcast last week. So tune in next week for an update. Thoughts all for this week July 22, 2017. If you enjoyed watching our new iWin TV channel please subscribe below and leave a comment. Until next week we'll be watching the markets for you to bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. I win TV, see what others can't.